How's it going there? This is Mark, your favorite Android fanatic, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing how to root your Galaxy Note 2. All variants are included. You don't need to have any specific anything for any variant because the XDA developer's ROM toolbox or the ROM uh, root toolbox that you can find on xdadevelopers.com is all inclusive. I use two of them. I use one for the Galaxy S3 and one another one for the Galaxy Note 2 since I have both. Um, I just find it to be extraordinarily helpful. I have a handful of friends who I've rooted their phones because they're too scared. And so if you like to root and you have friends who wanted to root but they're unsure, this will give you the skills or the tools you need in your box in order to look like a pro, to look like it's just effortless, effortless, and just so easy that even, you know, the idiot who doesn't know anything about cell phones, uh, smartphones, uh, could just do it with ease. So anyway, without any further ado, here we go. Uh, sit tight and hold on. So then, what we're going to need to uh, accomplish this monumental task is going to be, of course, the Galaxy Note 2. You're going to need a Windows PC. We are running the Samsung Ativ smart PC which by the way I love this sucker it is a tablet PC running full Windows 8 Pro and as you can see we can pop off the pop off its head and you can see it is uh, full Windows 8 press a little button here go over here See if we can turn on the brightness on this thing. I'm going to do a review on this because I really like it. It's fast, it's responsive. Now, when the battery gets low, it uh, kind of has some slowing down issues. But other than that, it's a beautiful piece of work. So, we're going to plug back into our little do my wiki here and as we are plugged into our Duma wiki so first of all you're gonna go you're going to need to go into your settings on your Galaxy Note 2 <coughs> excuse me and you're going to scroll down to where Let's uh, just bring the phone up here. So then, apologize for my little children's in the background. They're uh, watching the adventures of Tintin. So anyways, go into your developer options. And then in your developer options, you're going to want to make sure this is checked off. That is USB debugging. And once you've got that done, you can go back home. And uh, just on a quick side note, this wallpaper is called uh, Galaxy Note 2 Weather or uh, Feather Wallpaper. And as you can see, it does not slow it down at all. It runs beautifully well. No lag. There are some wallpapers that do cause some lag. You also get the preview of what's in your folder with the air view. Isn't that just a beautiful work of art? That's probably one of my, that's the main reason I stick with TouchWiz. And as I always say, make sure if you TouchWiz, you know what to do. Wash your hands. So anyways, we've got that. We're going to plug in our USB cable. Now, the neat thing about this Samsung Ativ Smart PC, yes, beautiful, is that you can get a USB hub 2.0 up here. You get one on the keyboard, and you get another one on the other side of the keyboard. You get a micro SD slot, as well as... 
uh, SIM card slot. Okay, we're going to plug this on in here. Once we are plugged in, then we're going to go to our desktop. Then in the desktop, you're going to open up your Galaxy Note 2 root toolbox, or toolkit, excuse me. Hey, look, I'm right here. Hi. Let me get out of that picture. Do you want to check for an available update? Uh, sure, why not? Yes. And we're checking for the available update. Uh, and of course, you're going to want to donate if you want to be able to uh, get the automatic updates. Um, I believe we do not need to update so therefore we're just moving on to the next point now very important here is that you're going to go into these various options here and if you can see that you've got uh, the Sprint model, which is what we have here, and we are running on ALJC. So we're going to hit 42, enter. Now, here is a very crucial part where I got confused root and unroot options. Don't look at all this other stuff in there. Uh, because you'll get confused if you've never done this before, if you're a first-timer. So the best way to do it is just go to number two for root, unroot options, press enter. Then we're going to number three, all in one, right down in this area, right here. And... Get a better picture there. So all in one is number three. Enter. And then we wish to go to twerp. Touch touch was uh, team win recovery project. That's the best way to flash uh, an insecure boot image and uh, recovery mode. So we're gonna go to two. Enter. We're going to use super su. And enter. <clears throat> okay, so it's asking uh, to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Yes, it is. Then it will say, are you ready to continue? Say yes. Then it will reboot your phone into download mode. And then it will open up the uh, what's it called yeah let's just go ahead and do it I'm already rooted but we'll go ahead and run through the process again yes then it's gonna go ahead and boot the phone into download mode now extremely important make sure that you do not I repeat do not touch the cord don't even let anyone come close to touching the data cable because if you do then what will happen is uh, your phone will get bricked so then uh, we're going to hit PDA 
then go to your respective uh, phone model which we are going to boot insecure ALJC and then we're going to hit start now it is going to give you a little reset right here you can see my mouse cursor right there in that section then we're going to need to close out the Odin <coughs> excuse me and sometimes if when the device reboots nothing happens it's just stuck there on stupid then what you need to do is you need to go down to your root toolkit and then you will get a bunch of stuff going on here on the bottom side of your screen congratulations root procedure is completed but if this doesn't happen automatically then just go down here right click it and then open it just hit the Galaxy Note 2 root toolkit it'll open up again then this stuff will start happening on the previous uh, session and you can close out the second session and all this stuff going on over here is the uh, running the root files so then we are now going to go to exit and it's going to say thank you for using the donation version for giving us your support as Bartles and James used to say we thank you for your support as do large endowed women these uh, Victoria's Secret people well anyways let's not go there so then once you are rooted it'll say congratulations you hacked it and then in your applications you should see a super user doodad like this Can you see that right there right there if you do not have that then something went wrong and you're gonna have to do it again so anyways there you have it there we are we are rooted we are rocking and rolling and that should be all you need to know if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, question of the day, do you like running custom ROMs? And if so, what is your favorite part of rooting and running your own custom ROM that you download from wherever? And which is your favorite custom ROM? So anyways, thank you. Have a great day.